Hello, I'm Drew Devitt. And I'm here at New Way Air Bearings, and we'd like to share with you our patented process for viscous cleaning, drying, and temperature control of rigid and flexible substrates. Now, this process has a number of dramatic advantages. The first advantage is that it's completely non-contact, so there's no more scrubbing of the substrates. Uh, the second advantage is that uh, there's very small amounts of consumables, for instance, surfactants or DI water or clean dry air or nitrogen or whatever is being used in the cleaning process because you're using, say, 20 microns gap on either side of the substrate is the only place where the, the solvents or gases could potentially be. So we have very low consumption of consumables in the cleaning process. The other big advantage is that it can all happen in a very short distance. So in this example, we are cleaning, drying, uh, and then setting up to do a coating process all in less than half a meter. Generally, this takes tens of meters to complete these processes. Again, another advantage is that this is all contained inside of a tunnel. So you've got an opportunity for a pristine environment for cleaning, drying, and then going right to some kind of a process without ever letting the substrate get contaminated by anything. So to describe the processes in a little more detail, you can see that we have here a piece of glass floating on New Way air bars that have got vacuum functionality. So we're sucking the glass down and holding it away. And you can find out a lot more about this product in other New Way literature. We use this to be able to put a 0.7 or even a 0.3 millimeter thick piece of glass directly into a slot that is only about 40 microns bigger than the glass itself. Once we have the substrate constrained between an upper and a lower air bearing set, we can then start to introduce high and low pressures into grooves that exist in the face of these bearings. So we have a high pressure groove and a low pressure groove. And as we introduce a surfactant or a DI water into the high pressure groove, the flow through the small gap on either side of the substrate is at a very high pressure, say two bar, and it might be moving at 20 or 30 meters per second. So this high velocity, high pressure flow of cleaning agent has a very effective boundary layer scrubbing and cleaning effect on both surfaces of the glass at the same time. And then it's evacuated through the low pressure groove. Immediately after this cleaning operation, we have a drying operation where opposing air bearings and grooves are employed in the same way to create a high pressure, high velocity flow of air and or nitrogen that scrub any cleaning solutions or remaining oxygen that might be on the surface off before there's even any thought about the fluid creating a watermark. After the drying process, we go to a precision chucking process that will hold and condition the substrate for some type of a manufacturing process. In this case, let's say it's getting a coating from a slot die. So by holding the glass from the surface that's about to be coated, uh, we're able to flatten the glass and take out any thickness variation that might be in the glass. We're able to control and drive the temperature of the glass to exactly whatever the temperature we might want to have for the coating process. Uh, we're able to scrub off any remaining oxygen that might be at issue that we don't want to have underneath of the coating. Uh, and we're able to have a very precise height or distance between the slot coat head and the substrate because of the very small structural loop and the easy alignment between the face of the chuck and the slot coating die. After the precision coating operation, or the lithography process, or the printing process, or the inspection process, whatever this process may have been, the glass then exits to a set of air bars that, again, have got vacuum grooves, but in this case, they are perpendicular to the motion of the glass. This helps to avoid any drying artifacts if indeed it was a coating process that just occurred. We have the unit powered up now, and I've run a piece of glass through it. So you can see the glass here on the exit conveyors uh, floating freely and quite clean. So now what I'm gonna do is take my fingers and put some smudges, some fingerprints on here. These organics are some of the hardest stuff to try to get 
off of flat panel glass. So I'll pick this up now and set it down on the input side and we'll slide it in. So our viscous shear cleaning in this case is using plain water so that it eliminates scrubbers, it eliminates sprayers, it eliminates vertical hanging glass that's free. Then we go to a drying operation. We're able to clean both, dry both sides of the glass with high velocity air using micron stability still. And we control the temperature of it the same way because of convective film coefficients and boundary layer effects. We can do very effective temperature transfer on both sides of the glass, much better than big heated drums when it comes to flexible displays. And then we can also position the substrate while we're isolating it from any moisture or uh, oxygen. And then we can put another coating on it very accurately because we're holding it with that same surface. Uh, we could do some other process with it. And then it will come out from that. And here you can see those uh, organic fingerprints are completely removed by plain water and the viscous shear effect. In, integrated into the novel new designs from New Way Air Bearings.